Well, if everybody's ready, most Heck yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Chuck Load of Comics, broadcasting live from C2E2. We're at the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. <laughs> We've been dying to talk to this guy right now, Josh Elder. We want to talk about your charity work with Reading with Pictures. You do tons of comic book stuff. Let's uh, before we get into anything, let's uh, chat a little bit about Reading with Pictures. Sure. So uh, we're a 501c3 nonprofit, which is a official IRS designation, which means we're legit, totes above board, <laughs> as the kids say. Nerd alert. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, a lot of paper, so much paperwork. Uh, <laughs> so we were founded in 2009, uh, coming out of this idea that uh, I, I make comics myself, uh, many of them um, for kids, and I had been going around the country doing book signings and book events uh, in schools and libraries. And I kept hearing the same thing everywhere I went. We'd love to do more with this, but we, we don't know how, right? Um, what, how do we justify using this to skeptical administrators, skeptical parents? Uh, what types of material do we use and how do we use it well? Mm -hmm. And there were no answers to any of that. And uh, there was no standardized best practices. There were no resources. I mean, there were, but they were few and far between. And uh, there needed to be something more. And uh, I kept talking to people I knew in the industry. Somebody should really do something. Everyone agreed. Oh, yes, absolutely. Somebody should do something. And no one raised their hand. And eventually I was like, all right, I guess I'm somebody. And <laughs> I'll be so, your somebody. Yeah. I'll be your Huckleberry. And I was waiting for it. Yeah, That's come it. on. Killed uh, it. <laughs> We uh, pulled together uh, a pretty incredible group of people that I'd sort of met in my travels who shared uh, the same ideas about what comics could be and should be. And they all had, we all had similar stories. You know, we all learned to read with comics or we learned to love reading with comics. Certainly, that was what happened with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I was four years old. Uh, my mom was reading me an issue of the Transformers uh, at night before putting me to bed. About halfway through, she lost her voice. She had some laryngitis. Um, completely unacceptable. Uh, Optimus Prime was in a lot of danger. <laughs> I was going to say, that probably would have worked really well with the voiceover. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Optimus was in a lot of danger. I had to make sure that he was going to be okay. Nice. Um, and so with Mom out of the picture, it was kind of just up to me. Mm. And thankfully, it was a comic. And, you know, I had some vocabulary, I had some reading skills, but I never attempted anything this big on my own. But because there was this visual element, I could use the images to teach myself how to figure out the words I didn't already know. I, I used the comic to teach myself how to read the comic. Mm -hmm. And uh, in about a week, I finished that issue of the Transformers, and I started reading anything and everything and get my hands on. Yeah. Um, by the time I was in the fifth grade, I was reading at the college level. Uh, I was a college student wow. uh, oh by God. the time I all was twelve. All because of the Transformers. <laughs> the Transformers, man. Uh, That's incredible. What's well, funny? One. It's I, funny you, you mentioned that because um, you hear a lot about people uh, who come from other countries mm -hmm. and they learn English Absolutely. by reading comics because the, the the images are very universal. But you pick up the words just from word balloons. I mean, I hear that all the time from people. Absolutely. I still can't speak English. Really? Well, <laughs> it's my native language. You just look at the pictures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank God for comics. That's all I can say. Um, you know, uh, Francois uh, Mouly, uh she is the art director of The New Yorker. Um, she is uh, uh, native to France. Um, and when she moved to the U.S., and, and even when she was as a child, she learned... English through comics. Yep. Uh, now she and her husband, Art Spiegelman, uh, founded Toon Books, which does something very similar to reading with pictures at the publishing level, where they create early reader, beginning reader, two to, um, I believe, all the way up to eight years old uh, reading books based around, um, you know, sort of like uh, uh, C. Jane Run kind of books, okay. but with comics, with some amazing illustrators. It's really some of the best. Uh, language acquisition material I think it uh, is on, on the market today I don't, I don't doubt it that's that's so cool yeah. so reading with pictures I want to ask you more about uh, the comic books you produce and stuff but reading yeah. with pictures where could people go to find out a little bit more information about it sure uh, reading with pictures yeah. that, that's, uh, that's all, all it all starts there uh, <laughs> and uh, we have the largest database of educational comics material uh, and all of it's free to use uh, in the English language. We, wow. we compiled everything that's out there and whether either we host it or we link to it. And uh, we it's a one-stop shop. People from over 100 and 
50 countries have used our materials uh, over the last 10 years. Uh, to learn and to read and... Uh, to you know, engage English, with mathematics, learn, yeah. Uh, wow. science, everything. Uh, and uh, starting a few years ago, I guess this would have been in 2015, we entered into uh, a partnership with UNICEF uh, in using something, doing something we call Comics United Nations mm. that is creating comic material uh, uh, to use as uh, educational elements connected to the UN's Global Goals for Sustainable Development. So wow. this global uh, initiative that the UN is pushing, UNICEF's part in this is making kids aware and active as a part of it, and we play actually a, a really large role. It's been one of the most successful engagement programs UNICEF has ever done. Wow. Oh um, my gosh. Uh, we just finished one on school bullying that um, girl, gosh, where is she from? I want to say she's from Malaysia. And, just but, throw a dart. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> somewhere over there. Uh, and uh, she had this spectacular entry uh, that it was this this international contest and mm. thousands of kids from all over the world entered and she had this just really powerful uh, story and character that is going to be professionally produced and distributed all over the world through wow. UNICEF. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, the, the things that once we started doing this, once we put it out there and said, we're going to do this, we're going to make this happen, the people who have come out of the woodwork to support it and be a part of it, uh, it's it's truly been one of the greatest you know, blessings of my life and and i hope it's been a really amazing thing for others it's an amazing story so man cool. reading with pictures josh elder um really quick uh what kind of books have you been working on lately uh or what outside of the reading with pictures thing sure what are some of the other projects you, you've worked on so i've been in the business for a while in a, in a lot of roles i started as an intern at dc comics when i was in uh in college uh, and I produced a uh, short story called Mail Order Ninja uh, back in 2005. It's I love boy- the title. That's yeah, interesting. It's, the title's the best. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> oh, no. um, it, but it is about a boy who gets a ninja through a mail order catalog. Uh, sort hilarious. of Calvin and Hobbes if Hobbes is a ninja. And yeah, it's like the best. It you, you seems like, like you want to jump in. Best movie ever. It does sound pretty <laughs> great. It's not optioned yet. It, it has been optioned uh, a couple times actually. Um, there you go. And we actually think there's this mail order monster movie that a friend of mine found at IMDb. Oh that, no! That ripped you off. That is absolutely ripped us. Like to the point, there's actually scenes from the comic that are in this that are in like the trailer really? of the movie. Like I actual scenes, when that actual happens. dialogue. Um, Do you have any copyrights on it or uh, anything? You know, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's that stuff's like it. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like a very good movie. Yeah. So enforcing, oh, okay. trying to enforce. So you want to uh, separate yeah. yourself from it? Yeah, I'm like, no, they totally stole that. It's like, well, that's terrible. See, nobody's ever copied <laughs> but, but anything we've ever done. You, but it, yeah. Good but point. here's the thing: if you make the movie, the ninja can fight a monster and defeat it. Shared in the universe. Yeah. Shared universe. There you, you go. T- you can partner up with this other person, and make a whole. But the mail order monster, shared universe. The ninja should win in the end. Well, yeah, well, obviously ninjas are, ninjas beat monsters. Duh. Like that's <laughs> everybody knows that. Um, but uh, uh, an artist, Eric Owen, and I uh, like produced this short story. We entered uh, what was called uh, the Rising Stars of Manga contest that Tokyo Pop put on every mm-hmm. year. We won the grand prize. We got a book deal and a nationally syndicated comic strip out of it. Wow. Nice. Um, ran in the LA Times, the Boston Globe, uh, the San Francisco Chronicle, all over the That's place. That's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, almost, it, there's, it's gone down the movie road a few times, um, which is a very long and winding road. <laughs> sure. Uh, We've heard that before. Paved yes. in you know what. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then eventually I went back to DC, did some, uh, did a lot of their like custom or tie-in comics, uh, did like a Superman Wonder Woman comic for Wendy's. It's probably the most widely read thing I've ever produced because hmm. it went in like every Wendy's kids meal in North America. Nice. <laughs> uh, but uh, I remember I, those. Yeah, everyone loves those. Get get yourself a nice frosty. Yeah. Get yourself a nice comic. Just not a vanilla frosty. Nobody nobody likes the vanilla frosty. It. Classic only. Really, a vanilla frosty. <laughs> well, Josh, thanks a lot, man. What an amazing story. An awesome, no awesome uh, group. Reading with Pictures. Readingwithpictures.org. Indeed. And Indeed. Josh Elder. Find him here at C2E2. Where can people find you on the show floor? Uh, we are at Reading with Pictures. Is at, I'm everywhere. You can just you know bump into me, say hey. Yep. Uh, unless you're in the bathroom. Unless, well, even then, man. <laughs> you know, slide just don't the bump underneath. Me. 
Uh, I may not have a pen handy, so you're going to have to send that too. Uh, but I'll sign it. It's all good. Uh, we're at booth 1773, so okay. right around the corner from you. Oh, we're neighbors. Yeah, that way. Keep running into each other. Uh, and uh, we are having uh, an after party that raises money for Reading with Pictures tonight. Tonight? Tonight at Reggie's. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Uh, Reggie's Crackle. Workshop. Yeah. yeah it's going to be epic. Uh, there's oh, going to be beer, there's going to be pizza, there's going to be music, Kirby Crackle's performing. Uh, nice. You know, come and get your uh, get your drink on That's and offer awesome. a good, and feel great about it. Get as sloshed as you want. Oh, uh, way ahead of you, buddy. Terrific in the morning. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, you had me at charity and pizza and beer. And yeah. sloshed. Yeah. 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 And, you know, as many calories as you want, and it's all for a good cause. Oh, so I, reading awesome. with pictures. We we give you license to indulge uh, for the children. <laughs> well, that's for great. Children. Josh, thanks Love a lot it. for coming by, sharing your story, telling us more about reading with pictures, readingwithpictures.org. Check them out for more information. Booth 1773 right here at C2E2. Yeah, and you can always find a Chuckload of Comics all weekend long right here at Booth 1876. And, of course, ChuckloadofComics.com, YouTube.com slash Chuckload of Comics. And we will see you guys here later from C2E2. Love Thanks, it. Josh. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sweet.